learning to be tool safe. Watch this video to find out the safety guidelines for this machine. Let's look at the leaf blower. It is used for cleaning up leaves, grass clippings, and other debris by moving these materials with forced air. It is recommended to read the operator's manual before operating this equipment. Not all blowers are alike. There are differences in controls and other features. The leaf blower creates a flying debris safety hazard, and you must protect yourself by wearing long pants, CSA-approved safety boots, and safety glasses, or a face shield. As you can imagine, the leaf blower has an engine that creates a loud noise. You must wear ear protection at all times when the leaf blower is in use, or risk the possibilities of permanent hearing damage. A hard hat is also recommended to prevent injury to the head in the event of accidentally bumping into low-hanging limbs of trees or other obstacles. Also, think about hydration if the weather is hot. Bring some water. The next step is a circle check of the blower and its components. Inspect the unit for looser missing nuts, bolts, and screws. Check for fuel leaks and inspect the on-off switch, throttle, and choke for correct operation. Now would be a good time to check the fuel level. Carefully and safely fill the tank with mixed fuel if required. Never fill a hot engine. The fuel could ignite while you are pouring. Beware of getting any fuel on you or your clothes. Gas and oil are toxic, corrosive, and can be absorbed by your skin. Wash any affected areas before continuing. Make sure you are familiar with the MSDS for handling gas, filling gas with a gas can, and storing gas cans properly. Clean up any spilled fuel immediately after filling the tank. Make sure you don't leave anything combustible, like rags, in a closed, non-ventilated space. Now you are ready to start the leaf blower. With the blower on the ground, place one hand on the handle firmly and pull the starter cord, with the other making sure the unit remains in a stable position. Be sure the area is clear of other people and animals when starting and operating the unit. When operating a blower near a sidewalk or any area where people may be, it is important to consider their safety. Also. Think of whether vehicles or bicyclists will be passing through where you are working. Wear your reflective vest so they have plenty of time to notice you. Do not operate the blower on slippery or unstable surfaces and shut the unit down if it should start to shake or vibrate. Look up continuously to ensure no hazards are upcoming in your path. Upon completion of trimming, turn off the unit and let it rest on an even surface away from any fire hazards and let it cool. When the blower is cool, Clean and check all parts, making sure the parts are not clogged. Note any defective parts and inform your instructor. Replace defective or tighten loose components as per instructions. Put things away where they belong. Keeping care of your equipment will keep it safe longer. Let's do our tool safe review. Protect yourself with safety boots, eye and ear protection. Review the manual. Inspect the blower before starting and make sure everything functions properly. Avoid breathing gas fumes and contact with your skin. Make sure people and pets are clear of exiting air and debris. To have a safe plan for your leaf blowing action, review any obstacles and the terrain. Watch for any traffic near roadways. And if you're not sure about anything for safety, ask your teacher for more direction. And always remember to be tool safe.